Let's get things in motion and head into the world of cylinders. Hi, I'm Mike. Sometimes parts and components are very similar to each other, but there are key differences between them that result in different applications for each. In each episode of this video series from Radwell TV, we compare parts that are similar to each other, but also have their differences. Today I will be explaining the similarities and differences between a single acting and double acting cylinder. The biggest similarity between these two devices is that they are both actuators used to provide linear motion to a machine. A single acting cylinder's working principle is to transfer force in one direction. Within the cylinder, the piston rod can push outwards but cannot pull back. Single acting cylinders will operate by one port allowing in pressurized force. This pressurized force will cause the piston to extend in one linear direction and the return stroke is accomplished by a spring, weight, mechanical movement, or gravity. There are two types of single acting cylinders, push and pull. For push, the pressurized force will push the piston out of the cylinder. For pull, the pressurized force will pull the piston back inside. Single acting cylinders will be used for applications where clamping, positioning, pushing, pulling, and marking are needed. A double acting cylinder's working principle is to transfer force in two directions to provide a back and forth motion. Double acting cylinders have a port on each side of the cylinder. A pressurized force enters into the port at one end of the cylinder to push the piston forward, then in the second port a pressurized force will enter and retract the piston back. Double acting cylinders are mostly used on applications to open and close or pick and place. The biggest difference between the two types of cylinders is their design. This design difference refers to the number of ports each cylinder has. Single acting cylinders have one port where double acting cylinders have two ports. In addition, another design difference is that single acting cylinders will need a spring to help assist their movement, while double acting cylinders can extend and retract without a spring. Lastly, because of their design differences, their function of operation differs. Single acting cylinders are only capable of moving in one direction, while double acting cylinders move in two directions. When choosing the right cylinder, it isn't all about the singular or back and forth motion the two provide. Be sure to research which cylinder would be best suited for your need and application. Thanks for watching this Compare the Parts episode. For information about Radwell, visit radwell.com or connect with us on social media.